How to create a histogram for a given data set. Imagine that you have purchased 30 uh, pieces of this cylinder and you have measured the diameter of those cylinders and now you need to see how the diameters are distributed. So one way to look at it using histogram. Histogram lets you graphically visualize a data set. So there is two different way to create histogram using Excel. One is from insert option, insert tab. Another one is from data tab using data analysis add-in. Um, in this video, we're going to show you how to create a histogram using insert. First, you have to select the data. I have 30 data points. And you when you go to um, the chart and you will see this option. There's two different types of histogram. Um, so I can select the first one. We're going to talk about both. It is showing the histogram. Um, I can change the chart title to diameter. And you see it, it generated a histogram for us. So each of this bar represents a bean that is a range of from 1 to 1.056. What it means is that uh, from 1 to 1.056, there is 5 data points. Um, what if I want different range? You have to kill, click on the axis, horizontal axis here. This axis option will show up. You see the automatic button is selected. We, have, we can change it to, for example, bean width. If you know what is the bean width you want, I can select 2.5, press enter, it generates a different uh, bean size. So what is showing here that the bean size is now you see from 1 to 1.025 because I said bean width should be 0 0.025. What is again showing now that from, uh, for example, on this bar, um, from 1.075 to 1.1, there is seven data points. Um, you can see how many data points are on the left bar, but you can. Uh, there's another way to do it is that you can add data levels, and it will show the data levels, and you can get rid of this column if you want. Um, so what if you want to know how many data points are there above a certain limit? Um, you can do that from um, overflow bin, or underflow bin. Um, so if I select overflow, it is given one. Um, so what it's saying is that there is 29 data point value, those are above one. I can do, for example, 1.16. Um, now you see there is three data point above 1.16. You can also do it for underflow. And I can say how many data points are below 1.06. And it'll show there is um, seven data points, which is has a diameter, which is below 1.06. So we can get rid of those. Um, you can also do the histogram if you don't know what is your bin width, but you know how many bin you want. So for example, I want 10 beans. And it'll create 10 bin set for us. And this is how you can generate a um, histogram. Um, the other option that we saw here, it is just the same um, histogram, um, but it shows percentage increase from one bean to another. Um, to easy visualization, let's do um, access option, and let's do the bean number of bean four. So if you see on the first bean I had 11 data points and I have total 30 data points. So if you divided 11 divided by 30, that gives you 0.33, I mean 36%. So if you see this point is actually 36%. So the next one is nine. So you have to sum up. So it's like a person increase. So 100, uh, 11 and nine, that is 20 divided by 30. And it shows you 60.66, I mean, 66%. So if you go here, it will be less than 70 is above here. So it'll be just above this line, so 66%. And you see, that's why on the fifth bean, it is just 100%. So this is the way you can uh, generate histogram simply. 
In next video, we're going to show how to generate a histogram using data uh, tab using um, data analysis add-ins, which will let you to do a little bit more analysis for histogram. Till then, thank you.